सब गाइज एश वांगी एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल बी क्रिएटिंग दिस मेकअप लुक दिस इज अ न्यू शिमरी मेकअप लुक विद ड्यूई स्किन एंड एज ऑलवेज ऑल द लिंक्स ऑफ ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो डेफिनेटली चेक इट आउट दिस सम टाइम स्टैम्प इज वेल आई टेल यू अबाउट इट वॉन्स द ट्यूटोरियल बिगिनस एंड दैट्स इट नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स बिगिन All right, let's begin. Now, if you've been following my tutorials for a while, you know that I do my base, my eyebrows and my contouring almost the same way in every video. So, if you want to skip through this process, you can and straight jump to the eyeshadow tutorial. I have left a time stamp in the description box below. I am doing the dewy base which I always do, but guys, I am going to explain it every time in every video because there are a lot of new people who watch the video and I want everyone to understand what I'm doing. So, if you want, you can really just skip this and just straight go to the eyeshadow bit of this video. For primer, I'll be using NYX Honey Dew Me Up Primer. I love the consistency of this primer and it just smells so nice as well. Next for foundation I'll use Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 128 warm nude. Now first I'm taking a bit of foundation at the back of my hand. After this I'm going to add a strobe cream in this foundation. The strobe cream which I'm using is from Pack Cosmetics. It is their strobing cream in the shade peach. So about this much foundation and this much strobing cream and it is falling off so I'll quickly mix it and start applying it on my skin. Now I'm just going to blend this foundation with a blender. Now I'm going to use the concealer. I'll be using L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 312 Amber. I really should have applied the concealer first because we used a mix of strobe cream and foundation and you know it's better to apply foundation after the concealer but it's okay if you are going to follow this tutorial then apply your concealer first and then do the foundation now with a pack 219 brush i'm going to blend this concealer and i always dab the concealer under my eyes i don't drag it that helps in getting the maximum coverage from the concealer next i'm going to use maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade light i'm first going to set the area around my eyes and my eyelids with this powder and to set the rest of my face i'll use lakme natural finishing powder i like this powder because it does give a dewy finish next i'll be using nika contour and conquer i'm going to lightly contour my jawline and my cheekbones with this product After lightly contouring my face, I'm taking a bit more of this Lakme powder and just cleaning up this particular area. The base is complete. Now we'll get to the eyebrows. I'll be using Miss Claire eyebrow cake. I'll be using a mix of this color and this color to do my eyebrows. I'm going to brush my eyebrows downwards. Then I'm going to draw out a shape. Next I'm going to brush it upwards and fill all the gaps. Now 
once both my eyebrows are done there's this little huda beauty hack which i always do i take a little bit of setting powder and i apply it on my eyebrows with a very light hand like not a lot of powder you have to ensure that you're dusting off all the excess powder but this works really well especially if you're using creamy eyebrow products it uh, sets them in place for a very long time and personally i've experienced that it makes them look a bit more natural all right now let's move on to the eye shadow so there are two products that i'll be using on my eyes today first is an eye shadow palette it's wet and wild rose in the air palette first i'm going to dig into this shade on the palette and i'm going to apply the shade on my crease okay yeah this is good enough for now after that's done i'm going to take this shade from the palette and i'm going to apply it all over my eyelid just like this i've just packed the color all over my eyelid Now I'm just running through a clean fluffy brush on my crease again to blend everything properly. After this I will be using Pat Glitter Eye Shadow Palette. I'll be using this shade from the palette, but before I apply this glitter on my eyelid, I'm going to prime them with a glitter glue. For that I'll be using Pat Sparkly Distraction Glitter Primer. I'm going to apply it on the center of my eyelid. I'm going to spread it out. I've spread the glitter glue out and I left just a little bit of my inner and outer corner. Like not too much of it also. I am going to majorly cover this area with the glitter, but still just a little corner you need to leave on both ends of your eyes. And next just with my ring finger, I'm going to start packing the glitter. This is how my eyelids are looking like at this point of time. Now to clean this up, first I'm going to take this brown shade which we applied on the eyelid and with an eye shadow brush just very lightly on that tiny corner that we left right on the outer and inner corner of the eyelid and just going to very lightly pat this color on those corners. just this much to basically blend this color and the glitter together i actually wanted the glitter to cover the maximum area of my eyelid but i still wanted to leave these corners because it kind of give definition to your eyes plus i just wanted more of glitter on my eyes Next time again taking this brush which i used to you know apply the transition shade on my crease i'm not taking any color on it but i'll just run it through my crease one more time Now we'll get to the lower lash line for my lower lash line i'm again going to dig into this shimmery brown shade from the palette and i'm going to apply it halfway through my lower lash line All right. Next I'm going to use pack coal pencil in the shade skin and I'm going to apply this on my waterline. Now we'll apply a bit of mascara and I'm going to wear falsies but first mascara and I'll be using L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise mascara. Whenever you're using a nude pencil, especially a nude pencil, it can really get on your lower lashes. So, you know, you can hold the wand like this and apply the mascara like this. To clean it up basically because it doesn't look nice when it's on the lashes. 
All right, now I'm going to quickly wear false lashes off camera and come back. And done. The lashes are on. You'll find the details of the lashes and the lash glue I used in the description box below. Now first I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. And I'll be using K-Beauty's highlighter in the shade Sunlit Gold. And next for blush, I'll use Pack Powder Blush in the shade 09. For highlighter, I'll use the same K by Katrina Sunlit Gold Highlighter uh, and with a Pro Art AF05 brush, I'm going to highlight all the high points of my face. For my lips, I'll use Nykaa Matte Lipstick in the shade Helen. And in the end, to set everything in place, I'll use NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Fixer. Now I'm just going to let this dry up. I'm actually going to dry it with this fan which I got. Then I'll get ready and get back. And that's it guys, we've come to an end of this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. It's a super easy look to create guys. Just ensure that you're being careful while you're using glitters. Always use a glitter glue no matter which glitter you're using. Even if the company claims that you don't need a glitter glue with it, please always use a glitter glue whenever you're handling glitters. And yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you're enjoying my festive series, then don't forget to leave my videos a like because that helps us in reaching out to more people guys. And we are trying to build a community here so please hit the like button and if you don't follow me on instagram then ensure that you do i keep posting a lot of makeup related content and video updates on instagram so you can check out my handle the links will be in the pinned comment of the comment section below and also if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe to our channels we've got three channels in the english and bengali and we're trying to create a really happy and positive ecosystem here on YouTube. Your support would mean the world to us guys. So check out our channels and if you like our content then please subscribe. On that note I'm gonna go now. Please stay safe and take care of yourself. I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah.